Um, <laughs> we're playing this because we were having a conversation before the show started about, you know, people start asking the question, are you superstitious? Mm -hmm. Are you? I am. What? I am, yes. When Connor, our executive producer, asked me, I kind of sat there for a second and said, I don't know. You're not superstitious? I think I probably a am. I had to think about what my superstitions actually are. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the black cat is, is one, uh -huh. obviously. Uh, I think a lot of people, even if you say you don't, you know you do. Um, and then the other is, um, like, I feel like I always have to have balance. Like, if I touch something with my right hand, I with my left Interesting. Too. Yeah. And the reason we're also talking about superstition is that it's Halloween week, mm -hmm. but Google recently did, you know, Google does everything, uh, recently did kind of analysis of Kentucky's most popular superstition. Oh, they specified it by state. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Ooh, there's the creepy full moon. <laughs> so the top superstition in the state of Kentucky is throwing salt over your shoulder. Because spilling salt <laughs> is bad luck. And you throw a pinch over your shoulder, it reverses the bad luck. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, and then I remember hearing also that, uh, what is it, they say, if the devil sees it, sees you spill salt, he sees it, or not if he sees you, but the devil sees it as an invitation to step in and do evil. Hmm. Like, that's that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Reel it back in, folks. <laughs> then let's go to Indiana, because in Indiana, uh, it's their top superstition is carrying around a rabbit's foot. It's a belief uh, held by individuals in a great number uh, around the world, actually, that that brings you what good luck. That wards off the bad, the bad stuff. Yeah, that's pretty common in what Europe and China, yeah. Africa, and uh, in North and South America. I remember growing up, and the people would have those rabbit foots around the rearview mirrors in their cars, mm. and I always thought that was gross. I know I've seen that too. <laughs> that is nasty. You mentioned the black cat. I believe. I'm superstitious with the opposite of the black cat. Like, I have a black cat, and I believe it brings me good vibes and good luck. I don't know. I do. I believe in, the, in I think the, the black cat is super good luck. Do you want to hear my mom's superstition? Do you want to hear this? Okay, for those at home that know my mom, this totally makes sense. So, you know when you get a king cake, there's baby Jesus yeah, in the yeah, bottom yeah. of the king cake? You'll break your teeth on it if you and don't And tradition right. goes that if you find baby Jesus in the king cake, that means that the next king cake party, you bring a king cake, right? You're responsible for purchasing. She doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, she likes to take baby Jesus to the casinos. And she puts baby Jesus on top of the slot machine, and every time she pulls, she shouts, Happy birthday, Jesus! <laughs> so she believes baby Jesus brings her good luck at casinos. Oh, and scratch-offs. When she buys the Kentucky Lottery scratch-off, she puts baby Jesus. <laughs> Hope I'm not causing trouble with the church. Uh, she <laughs> <laughs> she, she, Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so she puts baby Jesus on top of the scratch off, and she goes, okay, here we go. And then she moves baby Jesus and sees if she wins. Yo mama is, <laughs> is extra. I was expecting this to go down the rabbit hole, of, not rabbit's foot, but rabbit hole <laughs> of, um, of like, I think the more common one is, and we were talking about this one before the show too, is the telephone pole or like whatever pole, like if you're walking down, mm -hmm. you know, a path with someone, you don't split the pole. Oh, that's the extent of my one. crazy. <laughs> you will never walk into a casino and look at a slot machine <laughs> the same way again. And I'll never right? take a king cake to a party. She will lift up the king cake to go find baby Jesus because she's convinced it's going to be big money at Belterra. I'm going to pray for your mama. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm going to pray for me. All right, let's dive into the show, but we'll talk about your mama okay. after the show. Right, right. <laughs>